So, the type of home ownership. Are you a renter or owner? Uh, owner. And then the type of structure, single family, detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo, apartment. Uh, wood frame home. Hmm. Wood frame. Wood, wood frame house. Okay, so it's a single family detached? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. And then the approximate date that you moved in. Ooh. It doesn't have to be like the exact date. It can be a year if you can think. Something like that. When I had a house built. Uh -huh. 1983? Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you always lived in Pulaski? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me how your family ended up in Pulaski. Uh, my father's, my father's grandfather's, uh, they was here. We had a, we had a farm. And so, I mean, hey, it's, I never did leave. Okay. I mean, well, I've been, right. been here since. So. And same with your mother, too, as yes. well. Mm -hmm. So, everybody lived here. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all right. That's good. That's generations. Mm -hmm. Yep, so uh, I think I'm the. And this for link. The, for the farm mm -hmm. I think I'm the fourth. I'm the fourth generation on the farm. Oh, okay. So fourth generation farmer. That's awesome. So this land, y'all, your great grandfather or further down purchased it. How many acres yeah. do y'all have? Uh, two hundred. Well, Daddy just called it three hundred acres, <clears throat> Not around three hundred acres. But uh, we had surveyed it for that. I bought the debt from Mom, mm -hmm. and I said it's about two hundred ninety now. Okay. So that we, that we have. Yeah. Okay, so about three hundred acres, though, yeah, roughly. Yes. Yeah, and then, um, so what did you do? You're you said you're retired. Mm -hmm. So what are you retired from? Natural, so Natural Resource Conservation Service, NRCS. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, so you're retired from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then? NRCS be fine. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you, okay, so then you said you, um, you're, and then you came back part-time, mm -hmm. and then you're self-employed. Mm -hmm. So what do you do when you're self-employed? Uh, self-employed, I do lawn service. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, I do the lawn service on the side. Mm -hmm. I, I cut back some because of of the age and hey, I you know, um, it's just me. So right, yeah. I don't need it all. I mean, hey, I got student loans to pay for, kids are growing and going and yeah. hey, um wife to see so, so hey, you know, hey, I'm I'm just living the life. Yeah, so, that's right. <laughs> hey, that's all right. So I because I was yeah. getting to what were you doing with your um your farmland? Okay, like okay. what are uh, you doing with land, that? The farm land I uh I rented up. Okay. Oh, uh, but we do have some, uh, we do we, we do have some colors. We, we we do have a few colors out there. So, oh. so, so that that you know that kind of stuff. We you know we, we um, yeah we. Um, How many acres do you rent out for your farmland? Uh, two hundred and five, I think. Oh, that's a lot of acres. And you got cattle on it? Yes, we have cattle as well. We got about uh, about thirty five forty acres, and I was passing land, and we got uh, about twenty five twenty five thirty head of cattle. Oh, that's pretty good. So, what's on your farmland? Is it like peanut, yeah, we, cotton? Uh, they do, uh, they do cotton peanuts. Um, actually, we um, they taught taught me to let them put uh, turf grass on there. So we got uh, I got about uh, about hundred acres of it in, in uh, turf grass, eighty or that acres or whatever. Turf grass. Are you talking mm -hmm. about that? Uh, sod. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's that's so, like so a hot commodity now these days. Yeah, I know, right? You know, so but, but they, uh, that's good. That's for like the new houses they're building and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're gonna lay that and, and right. come. Mm -hmm. No, that's good money well, coming actually, coming in. You know, I mean, I'm not telling the guy's business, no, but he kept me, you know, and he said, um, and this was last year. That's when this you know, storm came through. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, you know, destroyed a lot of cotton kind of crops. Yeah. And um, he said that uh, he said uh, he actually thanked me. He said thank me for letting me put sod on that farm. He said if it wasn't for the sod, he wouldn't not have made it. With that hurricane that came in yes. last year, mm -hmm. I know. It oh, like it that. destroyed Hawkinsville too. Yeah, this like area. The crop, it, uh, so because at the time when it came through, that's when people had uh, they was trying to get the crops out of the field. Yeah. Um, and so cotton. And some of them had defoliated it, whatever it be, and that some came through there. And and uh, and actually, on our farm, you can tell exactly where the cotton pick was sitting wow. when the storm came through. Wow. And uh, so when it started back, you can tell they picked and not picked. Wow. The ground like about by the weather just taped. Wow. Full of cotton. Yes. And they can't get that because it's not coming off directly of the plant. Yeah, exactly. Wow! So, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Wow! Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's good information, though. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But uh, hey, they, you know, I, I was, uh, I was proud just to hear them say that. You yeah, so, so, makes you know. feel good. Exactly, you know. So, and uh, of course, they always tell me, hey, you know, don't worry about your rent. We got you. Right. And so I say, hey, look, I understand. 
So yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you came from a farming generation, right, so you right. know how that yeah, is. None of that know how it works now, so yeah, I don't, you know, so we know, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So here, um, you're, the type of home that you have, can you tell me a little bit about the kind of home you live in? Like the bedrooms, the square footage, and the type of roof you have. About 1,800 square foot, 10 roof. Oh, okay, 10 roof. Mm-hmm. And then how many bedrooms and baths? Three. Three. Three bed. Three and two. And two mm-hmm. baths. Mm-hmm. And you said y'all built that? Yes, from the ground up. Yes, um, construction bill. Yes. Oh, okay. A stick bill where I just to put stick 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 oh, bill. Okay. <laughs> so, um, then if that's the case, let's go down to. So, have you ever invested in solar, either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as mm-hmm. part of your business, or as part of the program mm-hmm. through your utility? No, I have not. Okay. Um, we it crossed my mind about putting in a, um, I guess a, a solar panel mm-hmm. for a well for the cattle. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but since the power is already there, we just uh, we went right went back with the power. Okay. Line, so, yeah. so tell me why you don't have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Uh, of course, you made the decision because you, you built the house. Well, so no, but, uh, really, nobody came to me and. Uh, and me back was it offered back then in '83? No, no. Okay. This stuff just started uh, being, being to, to, I guess, learned about, uh, mm-hmm. being presented in the last couple of years. Okay. So, if you had the option, would you put a rooftop solar in your home? If I use that kind of power, if I, yeah, um, and I have, I have a shed. This is a thirty by seventy. Well, uh, thirty by fifty enclosed, but I have a shed mm-hmm. that I stored my. Equipment and motorcycles or whatever can it be, uh, all my stuff in. Mm-hmm. And uh, excuse me, I had thought in terms of do, putting it, putting the satellite system on top of my shed. Uh huh. And of course, going east to west anyway. Right. No, the south. Mm-hmm. East to west. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. East to west. Uh-huh. And also, I, you know, it, it'll be an idea if I, you know, I, I've thought about it just to see. Yeah. You know, and, okay. Uh, you know, uh, so I'm, more so for your shed, but not for your home. Well, hey, well, yeah. I, it's a possibility I can do it at home. Oh, so, so you thought about that too? Mm, I thought about that. But okay. uh, now, now, now both, both of them have the, the metal shit, the metal roofing. Okay. Well, so I don't know how that works. Okay. But another problem I do have too is that I don't think EMC at the time offered for that. Because see, I'm on the EMC. Oh, you're on EMC power. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so, so you would like it for your outside shit in your home. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so why would you want it on there? That solar energy uh, on both of those locations. Supposedly, it's supposed to help save uh, save energy. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, supposedly, to help, you know, with the electric bill and the, uh, I guess the watts or whatever that you use, mm-hmm. which um, I'm not all the way home. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so so bad. So, right. Then, uh, but yeah, still, the electric bill runs around. Around 100, 140 dollars a month. You okay. Know, so uh, t- still, so yeah. If, if you know, if I can, if I can look at the um, where the cost. Okay. Cost you know, effective. If, yeah. If it, uh, if it benefit me. Yeah. Cost my husband. Hey, yeah. I would, I would like to do that. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here we're gonna look at uh, solar adoption in general in the United States. So. This here is a map of the United States, mm-hmm. and you use that pin there, and you can do an X or a circle on where you think um, rooftop solar adaption is in the United States. So you can and use what that. What do I think? The top? The yeah, top and you just put a, X. yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Yes, in the United States, you can put an X, a check, you can circle areas that you think that you either you have seen it or you think it's there. It's no right or wrong answers again. Okay, all right. Uh, I've been out, just, I've been out, I've been out to um, um, Nevada. Mm-hmm. I went on my bike, but now through that route I, I went, I didn't see anything. A bunch of cows and deserts. Oh, <laughs> so you didn't see it really. It might be, yeah, okay. Um, but you can check where you think it is too. Well, the most one I've seen here is in uh, in Georgia, is that in Bella. Uh huh. I mean, so I mean, okay. I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going to check. Georgia. Check okay. Georgia, okay. We got Georgia, and then what else? Um, I've been down Florida several times. I don't, you know, you don't see very many. Uh, I'm not sure about Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But even if you think they might have it, there might be some reasons why you think those states might have it. Now, you know? I have been up the, uh, up the Michigan area, in, okay. uh, Wisconsin. So, um, and you've seen it there? Mm-hmm. Well, not solar panel, but I've seen the wind tunnels. Oh, wind tunnels, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, so you know, I don't know what that would be. Right. Or not, maybe it's considered as a solar panel or whatever. But it's still, they still conserve the engine. engine. Right. They, 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 that's what they do is propel us the, uh, uh, the wind tunnels to uh, generate power. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I was, um, well, I, I probably would. Uh, consider Arizona either uh, either Texas one or two. So, okay, uh, so Arizona um, and Texas. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Any yeah. other states? Um, like I say, I don't. I mean, I, I you know I rode my bike through there. Mm-hmm. And um, or any states that you think that might have it based on maybe their climate or mm-hmm. something like that, or they're more advanced, you know, just thinking about it in that way, not mm-hmm. just you actually seeing it, yeah. just thinking about that state and how mm-hmm. their economic is compared right. to us. Um, Florida, Florida, Florida may be one uh, as well, because uh, uh, they, you know, they, they have no sign. Okay. Where, where, where many, they, you know, they, they clients don't stay there as long as mm-hmm. does Georgia, I say, you know, old, old cats or whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. Um, Florida, Florida, I think Florida would be, be more apt to have it too as well. Okay. Um, Any other states? That's about it? Or? Uh, it's about, I'm, 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 it's about it. Okay. Um, so, what makes that community or those states there so different from in Pulaski? Uh, <clears throat> or Georgia? Not, not Sorry. just the land of Florida. Okay. Um, you know, the, the, I mean, the land could be flatter, and, 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 and a lot of cases that's where I chose some of these states. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and they're more on the south end. Okay. Uh, I'd say the south end. You know, more I'm southern the, states. Southern, southern state, yeah. Okay. Um, because you, have, you, you, know, you generate more sun there. Mm-hmm. And that's where I chose those. Oh, okay. And see, um, here, in, in, in those states as well, mm-hmm. you don't have the, I guess, the wind. Okay. Uh, of course, see the northern states they have the that's really I say they have the I know they have the, the big right. the big windmill things. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so that's where they generate power there and also. Uh, All right. So solar panels here, I think, would be more adequate. All right. Okay. Yeah. So why do you think the people here, um, they don't have a lot of solar on their rooftops? One, I think, uh, is because some companies wasn't. It's not prepared for it. Okay. Some some companies, uh, you know, that's you know Georgia Power here. Uh, I think they were pushing it at one time, but EMC wasn't. wasn't. Mm-hmm. Now, now I think EMC just beginning to open up the doors, right? You know, and, and you know let people in. You know, so um, and not all that. It's not. <clears throat> I guess not being really pushed, mm-hmm. so to speak out. You know, to the public. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and my understanding is um, that on tw- between here and Vianna, actually, it's in Pulaski County. And I talked to a landowner that came in office just, yeah, just yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, day before yesterday, when they were, anyway. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I mentioned to him about um, that I understood some, some of the land that he works mm-hmm. could be put in solar panels. Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah. And I said, hey. I said, that's about 300 acres in there. He said, no, more, more than that. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said, they looking at about 1,700 acres. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I said, uh, I said, okay. Um, but it has to be, for that uh, amount of units to go in, it has to be close to a major power line. Right. And they do have a major power line going. Through their um, land. Right, oh. Close, right, right close to it. Oh, so, okay. So, yeah. And I can understand that. Right. Uh, yeah. Here we got, you know, we got the small power lines run mm-hmm. in different places now. So right. the homeowner use is about the homeowner use is about probably going to be about the uh, um, only thing that we probably can, I guess, utilize um, if the power companies, um, I guess, buy into it, so to speak. Right. Because um, myself, I've thought about I has uh, my uncle. Which he's passing on, mm-hmm. and uh, so my great niece, she's the one that's in control, and she's only about 27, 20, 26, 27 years old. Mm-hmm. I thought about purchasing that land from her. Mm-hmm. It's about thirty acres, and about fifteen of open land. And I thought about it in terms of if EMC would let me to install that in, in uh, solar panels, right, and then generate power. Yeah, but 
as you look into it and you listen to some situation with OKBB, you say, well, you have to have a major power line. That's what's, well, I got three phases running down the highway, uh, next to the highway there, but right. it doesn't, uh, I don't know whether that'll work or not. Mm-hmm. I didn't look into it, you know, uh, that in depth because, you know, you got so much stipulation. Right. Uh, you know, had to go through it all, so yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And so now, since we've talked about the United States, mm-hmm. now we're going to look at the map for um, the state of Georgia. Mm-hmm. We're look at it. And then you can check here on what counties where you think there is rooftop solar panels, or even if you've seen them, or whatever the case is, but you can give a guess, too, on areas where you think that they have them. You can circle or put a star or a check. Yeah, I know, I know Taylor Kenny. I mean, they, they oh my God. Mm-hmm. We, we that too. Yeah, I see it all the time <laughs> as I'm riding, going to America. Oh, well, is America? Yeah, no, Columbus. Columbus, going that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but they have some going towards... Is it going towards? Um, there are some in Macon County, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, there's on, a big on, plate on, of it. On for uh, 26 Avenue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, which county? Which one okay. So I got Taylor County for you. Right. Okay. And then, um, any other counties you can think of? And I'm trying to, okay. Yeah. Um, that I have seen them. Or, or you think that they're there, like, you know, we have Savannah, Augusta, mm-hmm. and then we have the metro Atlanta area. Even if you haven't seen them, just an educational guess on where you think they might have them, too, you know, based on what you know about those areas, possibly. I've seen some. What county is this right here? And, that, and, that, and it's Macon County? Macon County. Oh, okay. It's Macon County, Taylor County, Yeah. Okay. And then what other places do you think? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking that down here around the Albany area. Somewhere. Albany? Okay, uh, go ahead and circle that. I can't, I can't remember exactly what county it was. Uh-huh, that's fine. I don't know what it was. might be around the Albany area. It might have been around Lee County, but I'm, I'm not sure. So, mm-hmm. but, uh, I'm going to do Lee County. I'm going to do Lee County. It's Lee County here. Okay. That's Terrell County. I'm not sure about any other counties yet. Um, or where they might have them. It doesn't have to, you've actually seen them. It can be where you think they're there because of, you know, uh, the economy or well, the different aspects of why that county might have it. Right. There's, there's no well, right or wrong answer. Actually, within the last couple of years, uh, that's when you begin to see more and more of these things. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I mean, I do travel a lot. I do travel a lot. I got smart sometimes, and mm-hmm. I, if I look, I see it. Right. And uh, but the, the, I can't, I can't remember exactly where was that. Right, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? So, so those so, are the counties that you're yeah, choosing, yeah, just for this yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, I'll just choose those. So yeah. So what makes the people from those communities that you identify, Lee, um, Macon, and Taylor County, uh, so different from where you're um, from, Pulaski County? It could be the, uh, it could be the company. Okay, the power company? Power company, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so power company. And anything else? Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you, oh, I meant to ask you. With mm-hmm. the power company, you're saying, like, they're actually offering incentives or something like that? Uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, like, well, different like George Power. Yeah. Uh, of course, I know you got George Power in the House of and areas, too, so, but, um, uh, Pulaski has George Power and EMC. Right. All right. And then uh, see EMC buys their power from George Power. Right. Okay. So, so so in turn, and I guess George Power had to have the uh, I guess all the rights, whatever it could be. So EMC is not able to, I guess, uh, per se, gives me to go ahead to uh, to install solar panels. Like, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. So so, uh, so I, I I think that's your question is uh, you know. It's, it's the company, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and then when you go down beyond uh, Plastic and Wilcox, I mean, there's other uh, old, old mm-hmm. Coney and the Old Market, I mean, you know, River. This right. Way, when you go across Dodge County, that's, I think this is, I think it has an EMC over there too, but uh, on, on the flip side, chat on the other side of the Eastman, there's another type. Right. Uh, power company, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, you know, it's, I, I think more or less it's, it's the company because, see, you you would have to tie into their systems, right? You know, anyway. So, yeah. You know, you know, with the solar panels and things. 
Okay. So tell me why you think that people um, in Pulaski, like why they don't have the solar power in there. I don't have the resources here. There's the resources? Yeah, I don't have the resources here yet. Okay. Anything else? Um, lack of knowledge. Okay. Anything else? Probably the cost, if they knew. If, they, if the cost probably could be a, a okay. major, major problem, too, I would say. All right. And then what about most of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? And why do you think they do or do not? Uh, they don't have it because of... Uh, uh, I guess a lack of knowledge or whatever it may be, uh, um, uh, finances or whatever. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Um, um, I think that's, I think that's best. Okay. Well, anything else you like to add? No. I, mean, hey, I, I, I think, you know, maybe uh, it's going to be a future thing. Yeah. Um, I was just listening, listening, I was listening to these one, uh, one day this week. Mm-hmm. Um, might have been this weekend. Mm-hmm. About uh, certain parts of Africa. Yeah. And I thought, you know, in, in, in my mind, well, wow, okay, if they're going to go with those down there, and mm-hmm. which, you know, they, they don't have the, I guess, the rivers in the, right. and, 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 and the, uh, the the lakes like we have here to mm-hmm. generate power. Mm-hmm. And uh, so in Africa, it would be a great idea that they can dig their own wells and stuff, and they can have their water, and they can do their own, they can water their own crops, whatever right. they can do with that. You know, right. Side starvation. Um, um, uh, areas like that, I think, will be you know, um, I think they'd be tremendous help for those countries like that. And also, as yeah, well. uh, it would be a big help here. I was going to ask you, what could yeah. out of these you know interviews that we're doing, what would what would you think would benefit this county if there was you know something done after this, these interviews, what would you like to see from UGA Extension to offer something for the community? What would I think? Like, would you if, want if, if, classes if, or just more information? Well, if or? they had more information about okay. it and, if, you know, for the few landowners, if minority or either, I mean, it doesn't matter who mm-hmm. you are. You know, we, 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 we got nationality. Mm-hmm. Uh, if people had more knowledge or whatever, and the, I guess the expense for the cost wise saving or whatever, mm-hmm. if, they had, if, if, if they had more knowledge about the, the, the total situation. Right. Um, and, all that, and, and I guess I had somebody to really pitch the sale of the sale program okay. without, you know, without coming out of pocket. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because so, you know, so, um, if I had something to sell mm-hmm. and uh, I want you to be successful with it, and then, uh, so don't, you know, don't, uh, I wouldn't be looking for you to come out my, out your pocket. That mm-hmm. advance me, and then I take on, get the money, and don't never produce. Right. Uh, 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 produce a product. Okay. Uh, to, to the person, whatever it can be. So, you know. Um, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. I'm so, yeah. Yeah, I'm just not right or wrong answer.